Dear friends, this video is going to illustrate the effects of the use of the ABR fascia gel onto the change of the facial mimics, the control of the eyes, and overall the general kind of evolution of the presence, emotion, and uh, you know, mental capacity for this boy of six years of age who has been using just the ABR fascia gel for the period of 16 months. So you can see that the changes, even at those still pictures, are quite impressive. However, we're going to study and see a lot more through the evaluation of the live pictures and the dynamic uh, comparisons. And of course, that means that the structural components related to the fascia, right, and we get back to the point the fascia controls the muscles, tendons and ligaments, as could be seen on those illustrations. So the big deal for us is to address the link that defines the way how the muscle is able to get shifted in respect to the skin and that is defined by the quality of that mesh, the fabric, the mechanical fat, the mechanical loose areola fascia that connects it, you know, connects the fascia of the skin with the fascia of the muscle. And that's exactly the reason why the ABR fascia gel works so well, because it addresses that level, kind of motivating the fibroblasts and changing their overall composition of their fabric from being too glued or too loose towards being a lot more alive, integrated and thus providing the better links between the skin, mechanical fat and the muscle, thus creating the activation of functions and the activation of the structural integration as well. For comparison, let's look at three big things. The eyes, the face in general, which of course includes the lips and the cheeks and the forehead separately, and the overall movements of the head. And this analysis, which gives the review kind of step by step or frame by frame, allows us to look into the true change of their variety, diver diversity and the repertoire of the hidden movements that we either see or don't see in the channel. So let's have a look. So this on the left is the picture before the start with the ABR fascia gel and what we are seeing here, see the frames are changing and what happens? The boy keeps having the same face expression. So he changes it a little bit, right? So you see like this is the start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then this is a little bit of a change of the facial expression. Then again, he moves the head and you see that the head moves together with the torso. So that's the overall presence of what we have. That's the challenge. Now we're looking at the same boy just over a year later and look at the number of the key changes. So first point, see for every frame without exception there is some movement. So something is happening. The lips are changing, the cheeks are changing, the smile is coming, every step is meaningful. And then what else do you start seeing? The second part, the engagement of the eyes. See, the eye balls are moving separately. And this is really a very informative thing. You can see the movement of the eyeballs and then the formation of more complex positions with the lips and then again the eyes move selectively. See here 
the face expression, the lips position, the kind of stare through the eyes always stays the same. See here, that's a close-up view which shows you that every single frame illustrates the change in the position of the eyes. See, those are the things which are happening in the background. This micro movements which are actually showing the good quality stability. And why is this happening? Well, because in the situation before, that separate articulation of the circle of the lips, extended circle of the lips, extended circle of the cheeks, the, chi the chin circle, the orbital circles, the big, the medial, and the very small ones. So they are not active. So the separation of the temporal and the forehead areas, they are not apart. Why is that? This is where we get back to our key pictures, which are illustrating that link between the skin and the muscle. So, in the situation of the poor link, there are two types of challenges. Why they, either it gets too glued or it gets too loose. But then, of course, depending on the situation, this is what we have described as the dynamic fascia challenges. So either too loose or too watery or too stiff or too fibrous and then all the cases in between. So, but in those scenarios, if the fascia connections are poor, then the muscles have to kind of fuse and get their singular performance. So they can't perform in this selective fashion. So as we improve the fascia connections, then the muscles free up. So that's really a very simple link. And you can see it as the activation of the orbits versus the lack of the stability and again you see this is the clear eye movement and a lot of the face expressions and now he has those types of movements which are really combining everything you can see the eyes are separately controlled the cheeks are separately controlled and he gets very precise movements of the head and everything then comes with the emotional expression and you see, that's of course the key. If the boy is able to express himself with the diversity, with the specifics, that of course creates the positive loop for the development of the entire combination or that kind of exchange. He has the ability to express himself. If he has the ability to express himself, then, you know, it then there is a reason to get engaged and you can really see very rich emotional engagement now besides of this the rich emotional engagement translates into another set of important things because here if we look at him without the glasses what's the story the same thing he lacks any specific expressions as he moves the head, you can see that he tries to deliver a bit of a smile, but the upper part of the face remains expressionless. This is not just one episode. This is actually happening elsewhere. As we can see, right, so you see the part where he can track a stick with the eyes is very, very limited. Then he moves the entire head together. Another view and it shows us again the same expression another view the same expression tiny micro smile but but when he does the micro smile you can see that the lazy eye floats so that's 
the set of the challenges that he's been experiencing before and these are the new rich expressions that he's having but what we want to highlight besides of the emotional and cognitive aspect these changes they also translate into the improvement of the control and the coordination throughout the entire body this comes in three different dimensions first dimension the control of the eyes because these are the fastest muscles of the body that means that the good controls of the eyes translates into the development and the improvement of the control or the capacity of the brain to control any other muscles so in other words if you are able to control whatever 20 muscles of the eyes that means that your control of the remaining 600 muscles of the body gets much better because they are the fastest the second thing is that of course as the person is able to express himself specifically that also means that the overall control of the muscle tone improves because he could express himself otherwise he would be doing all sorts of just primitive movements and the total body movements or run around with kind of without a purpose flap flap with his hands and do all this kind of typical things and the third part as you can see here is that that much more specific control of the head that's also a big part of the coordination because that's the really the illustration of the head control that gives you the ability to deliver the much better stability of the body much better stability counterbalancing of the torso control of the legs and so on so all these components as you can see they are coming just via their additional simple contribution that has been brought by the ABR fascia gel and this massive changes in the personality of and life of this channel that have been brought by this super simple routine so in fact once you understand the conceptual base that glued or loose fascia requires some additional stimulus and made requires being made more alive and that's where the key component from the fascia gel comes and the second thing to understand is yes indeed the application of the fascia gel is easy that's the easiest possible thing that could be done like twice a day you apply it in those designated areas so where you experience the greatest gluing so the face is the best illustration but it's not the only place where we would be using it but you can see this change most vividly because a similar change at the spine is not so visible because you know the muscles there are larger so the visibility is not so clear but with the face we can really see it extremely well so i'm encouraging you to take this message seriously and actually i'm happy to share this very simple and very informative comparison which is a case of a pure experiment where this is the child who came just with the complaints about the kind of lazy eyes lazy face expression some kind of discomfort in his bowels and so on but was never really looking for doing the abr exercises so whatever we achieved here has been the result of their pure work you know actually pure applications of the abr fascia gel and you've been seeing how much of the cascades effect it has brought to this channel so with that smile it's a kind of positive message to you